best friend sent into the ancient past Becoming dinosaurs with the mystic eyes blast To save humanity so they've gotta move fast The spear rock will bring them to the dragon land Fearless of danger they have to take a stand Superheroes are ready for battle Using their special powers Together Dino Flows Driven to win one for all and all for one Dino Flows Nothing can stop them, not even this run Dino Flows Fighting together to save the whole planet The time has begun to save the world from destruction For superheroes are ready Will ever stop them, they're the Dino Flows! Unfortunately, the day of the two stars couldn't have come at a worse time for Nisseron. Yes. First the Dinofros succeed and now Treek has escaped. Watch your tongue. Around here, even the stones have ears. Nobody knows that Treek was imprisoned, and no one must know that he broke free. Don't worry. Nesseron will be able to reverse this situation to his favor, at least when it comes to the Dinofros. What do you mean? The Day of the Two Stars is the most important day of the year. Nesseron will use the sacred ceremony to unite all the dragons in the kingdom against the Dinofros. The next fragment of rock froze we're looking for should be here, in Geyserland. How do you reckon, Eric? It's impossible to access the area beyond Fossil Bay, so the only solution is to go back. Go through the desert. And go to Geyserland. I think Eric's onto something here. I recommend we follow his intuition. All right. Well, the game seems to agree, so all we have to do is designate a Game Master and leave. Maybe it's important. Do you think it's more important than saving humanity? Hello? Hello, Tom. It's Professor Warnell. I realize this phone call is coming out of the blue, but I really need to talk to you. I don't know what you have planned, but I need to speak to you in person. It's about your father. My father? Yes, Tom. Your father and I were colleagues. Dad thought of you as more than just a colleague. The two of you are really close. And that's why I must speak to you in the strictest of confidence. Is there any way you could come by the university? Mm-hmm. Good thing you decided to answer that phone call, Tom. Let's hope Professor Warnell can shed some light on my father's disappearance. Ready? Remember what that student told Tom? Before Tom's father, James, vanished, he spoke with somebody. He was on the phone. He said the discovery of the dragon fossil was just part of a bigger secret. Something so shocking, science wasn't prepared for it. I had the same idea. I wonder if that mysterious person was really Professor Warnell. Well, it looks like we're about to find out. Come on, I'll race you there. He's tied up till about two o'clock. Thanks. Sure. You can't wait that long. We've got a rock froze to look for. Here's the deal. Who's ever chosen as Game Master will stay behind to talk to Professor Warnell. How's that sound to you? Uh. Hmm. Go to the past to win in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Alright! Come on! Awesome! Attack! 
Go T-Rex! Now that's the way to do it! T-Rex! Looks like you're the Game Master. This will give me a chance to talk to Professor Warnell. Good luck finding the rock froze, guys. One thing, though, if you see my father, say hi for me, would you? According to my calculations, we gotta head southwest. And then we turn right after the first traffic light? That was humorous. Come on, let's get moving. If we're out here in the open like this, Nesseron has the advantage. The dragons are assembled, and everything's ready for the ceremony of the two stars, my lord. I'm sorry, Krobax, but you'll have to miss the festivities. But, sir, I've never missed the ceremony of the two stars before. The Dinofros are here and on the hunt for the next fragment of Rockfros. Your dragons and snakes must stop them. Is that understood? I will have orders for Vlad and Cladius as well. As you wish, Lord Nesseron. And listen, Cobrax. Huh? We have a traitor you need to be concerned about. With pleasure, sir. <sighs> I know you're hiding somewhere, Treak. I also know that you want us to think you've escaped when you're really in our midst, preparing to strike. And when you do, I'll be more than prepared for you, friend. Uh. I'll be back, Nesseron. Back for revenge. And sooner than you will expect. Are you sure that this is the right way to Geyserland, Eric? 100% sure. Of course, there are always variables in the field. I have an idea. If Eric is a paradactyl, he could do a quick fly over the area to make sure we're on the right track. Huh, <sighs> sounds good. Let's stop. A small oasis. Sweet. All right, you guys take a break, okay? Ah. Hmm. <laughs> Let him surprise us, generals. We await your orders, my liege. Vlad, you remember Treek's hiding places. I'll do my best, sir, but if I may, once we find Treek, what would you like us to do with him? I will explain everything to you, but your task will be difficult, Vlad. When do you think Eric will be back? There he is! Ah! No! Dragon snakes! Ah! He's leading them away so they won't see us transform! Well, let's not waste any more time then. Not in Skull Rock either. Treek is no longer my friend and hasn't been for a long time, Gladius. But you heard Nesseron's orders. You must pretend to be his friend again and make him trust you. Go scout the area around the volcano of Golan and I'll carry on looking here. Okay, if you find him first, send a signal. Ah! Ah! 
Geyserland is only a mere two miles from here. Isn't it strange that they only sent two dragons after us? Who's complaining? The sooner we get rid of them, the sooner we can start the search for the rock throws. He's back! You know, now would be a good time for Tom to let us a hand! Paleontology is a relatively young science. It may yet reveal many surprises about our planet's past. I'd like to call to your attention the efforts of my colleague... <sighs> oh. Professor James Carter. Oh. Your mind, Shriek. <laughs> Gladius! How dare you! What do you want? To hand you over to Nesseron! Let him go! It's you! Yes, it's me. Your old friend has come to save you, Treek. Uh... You're in a hopeless situation. Surrender and come with me peacefully, Treek, and you have my word that you will not be harmed. Why should I trust you, General Vlad? Because even though we've made different choices, we started out as friends, and that is something I will never forget. Oh, really? Why? Do you want me to give up my plans for revenge against Nesseron? Yes, to spare your life. Mm. Let me tell you what my answer is. <laughs> my answer is no! Say hello to your new master! <sighs> Treat didn't fall for my charade. And I wound up taking a punch for no reason at all, General. Let's get out of here. <sighs> I'm getting a little tired of you guys. How about a little help, boys? Smile it on armor. Bidding's not nice. Smile, do you want to teach you that? But if that's, that's what, what you want. want. See, I told you it wasn't nice to spit. Let's teach him a lesson. Take a look at that! Yeah, he's much larger than the others. I hate to mention it, but he looks a heck of a lot faster. Dino Froze, I'm General Cobrax. I've always wanted to meet you. So I could look into your eyes when I destroy you. My faithful subjects, it fills me with great pleasure to see so many of you here. 
This proves that the right of the two stars unites us and makes us stronger. The road to victory is fraught with obstacles, but with your courage, nothing is impossible. Victory to the invisible and to race of dragons. No impossible odds for the dragon race, because we and we alone were meant to rule the Earth. And with your dedication, we will rule the Earth. Not only am I larger than the other dragons, I am much stronger. But there's still a way. What can I use against the largest dragon snake that these guys have ever seen? It ends here, Dino Foes. Starlight! Time to use the new card. Special attack, petrifying lightning! I think the professor's class should be over by now. It's time to celebrate! The best fish and the sweetest fruit for my dragons! You are most generous, Nessera. Huh? General Tree, he's been missing for so long. They said he was on a mission. Your generosity towards your subjects is notable, Nesseron. May I speak? You were given the opportunity to speak, but you never chose to take it, did you, General Tree? I believe that now is the right time. <sighs> Kaiserland is only a few miles ahead. It's too far. I don't think we're gonna make it. Take a look at the moon, Eric. The eclipse is starting. It's almost time to go home. But guys, we're so close! Should we intervene? Lord Nesseron, let the general speak! Go ahead now, Treek. Let us see Treek! I have seen what will happen. I have seen what will become of millions and millions of dawns and moons that will pass. Through the gates of time, I have seen a world where the dragons have lost. A world where the Earth is ruled, not by Nesseron and his minion, not by our mighty dragon brothers, but by men. And all this will come to pass, because Nesseron will not be able to defeat the Dinofros. You're lying, Treek. You're not worthy to hold the position of general. Why would I lie, Nesseron? You know that I speak the truth, just as you know that our defeat will come at your hands. General Treek, enough! That's why you had me held prisoner. You didn't want anyone else to find out the truth that you know all too well, Nesseron. Capture him! I made a mistake. I let you live. I'm glad you could come to see me, Tom. By the way, what is that sound coming from your watch? It's my father's watch. It periodically and automatically backs up data contained inside it. 
That is fascinating. Tell me, did he give it to you before he disappeared? Not exactly, sir. I just happened to find it. That's all. Tom, something unusual happened last night. Something I think that you should be made aware of. Huh? Treek is a liar. He only has one goal in mind. To take my place and lead the fight against the Dynafros himself. Victory to the invincible and eternal race of dragons! I will not let a traitor lead our empire to its ruin. Are you with me, Dragon Brothers? Surround him, generals. He must not be able to leave alone. You fools. This is none of your business, Jonat. Three against one doesn't seem fair. You better stay out of this, understand? I understand that Shriek is right, and we're going to join with him. The fire burns inside us. Never surrender! Never surrender! <laughs> well, we're back, Captain. Minus the rock froze, unfortunately. So, Tom, anything exciting happened while we were inside the game? Fortunately, it did. My lord. <sighs> I... Save your breath. I'm sorry to tell you, but the voices of revolt can even be heard from here, General Flag. Tell us what we should do, Lord Nesseron, and we will obey your every command. You must show the traitors no mercy, General Vlad. <sighs> yes, sir. <sighs> it's not even possible. Are you trying to stand there and say that someone stole the dragon fossil? Yeah. Not only did they steal the fossil, they also stole all of the accompanying research material surrounding it. My father was afraid something like this could happen. That's why he had Warnell keep it in a safe place. So how could this have even happened, Tom? There's no explanation for it. Besides my father, Warnell was the only other person who knew about the secret hiding place. Any idea who did it, Tom? You know what? We're gonna have to narrow it down. Maybe it's not important who stole it. Maybe the question is, what exactly is the problem with the leak of Dad's discovery? That's the question we need to answer. And guys, we need to answer it soon. Hmm. Dino Frost! Four best friends sent into the ancient past. Becoming dinosaurs with the mystic eyes blast. To save humanity, so they gotta move fast. The spear rock will bring them to the dragon land. Fearless of danger, they have to take a stand. The superheroes are ready for battle, using their special powers to gather. Dino Frost, driven to win one for all and all for one. Dino Frost, nothing can stop them, not even this run. Dino Frost, fighting together to save the whole planet. Superheroes 